Hello there. General Kenobi. Um, today we're going to have a look at this pen. It is tiny. Is it really as tiny as it looks? Yes, but then this is the Guider Mini. And the story is that I saw these on the Instagram feed of uh, Kevin of Fountain Pen Revolution. And I, I always think pocket pens are kind of cute. There's, there's something to them. They, they have a certain charm. So I asked him if, if he could send me one along with some of his, his uh, new pens. And he said, sure. So what do we have here? The Guider Mini. Yes, obviously a tiny pen, but something called Mini, it would be disturbing if this was a huge pen, right? So there is that. Uh, a little, a few facts about this. Guider is one of the older Indian manufacturers of pens, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure they're, they're, they're handmade pens. And they are quite nice. This, I think, is a very cute model. It is indeed small, and I'll show you size comparison in just a second. It is eyedropper only. I haven't measured with excessive scientific accuracy, but I Judging by my eyedropper, which has little uh, notches for milliliters, I'm guessing about 1.25 milliliters, a little under one and a half, but a little over one. So then 1.25 kind of comes to mind. No cartridges, no converters, eyedropper only. Or knowing and use the nib to scratch cuneiform into rock. Another option. Okay, ebonite pen, as you may be able to see if you've ever seen or held ebonite, you may have recognized it as such. It is ebonite. The nib is fine and fine only. There's no choices there. You can get them in several finishes. I wrote them down black, red, tan, green, and brown. And this uh, cute little thing will set you back $21. All right, now I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. But before that, I'll do a writing sample. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go with the Guider Mini. I already gave you some information on it, the ink capacity and such, so let's, let's look at the parts. As you can see, in comparison with this Lamy Safari, this pen is shorter, right? It is kind of a pocket pen. Now, I have seen even shorter pocket pens, but it definitely is a fine pen. It's a narrow model, right? And it doesn't have a lot of girth. So, there is that. Let's look at the top here. Uh, this, this I, I would almost say it's like a Parker 51 style jewel. It's not exactly the same, I know that, but it, it kind of reminds me of that. We have the clip. Now this clip, uh, I, uh, it, it has one attachment point and I'm, I have no doubt I can completely bend this out of shape. So I would be a little careful with that. It does say guider, which is kind of fun. Then we have the, the cap, uh, ebonite, right? We have the ebonite barrel, which is pretty straight and then it just tapers down a tiny bit near the end here. It's not barrel shaped or anything. The cap unscrews and it reveals the tiniest cute little nib. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> this is definitely small. Uh, this is a, a fountain pen revolution indoor which has a number five and a half nib and you can see that this nib is quite a bit smaller than that. So it is definitely a small nib, right? Oh. I just dropped that, sorry. Yeah, definitely a small nib, tiny section, right? Tiny section with threads which are not particularly sharp. Now, unposted, um, <clears throat> I, I, I can't really use this, but fortunately it does post and then you can use it. As I said, tiny nib, ebonite feed, that is quite nice. Uh, I have found this to be a very dry nib, but it has a very, very tight slit, so it is not very wet. Pause. Okay, let's do a writing sample. And then C. We have... That skip was me, sorry. We have the Guider Mini. Uh, which has a very fine, fine nib, and the ink is <clears throat> Waterman Havana Brown. That's actually the old, an old bottle of Havana Brown. So it's actually called Havana Brown. When you write, there is feedback. It's also a, excuse me, <clears throat> it's also a very 
I forgot a part of it, didn't I? Yeah. Lazy dog. The. Very rigid nib. There is not a lot of yield or bounce to it, and I've often found that that makes nibs feel scratchier. So, there is that. However, it does write, and for such a tiny feed, it keeps up very well with very fast writing. So I think that that really is a, a, a nice uh, property of this pen, which I, I, I quite like. As I said, this is not the world's wettest writer, right? It's just not at all. So this this might be a nib that I would personally work on a little bit to, to increase that, that slit to make it a little bigger so that as a result that slit becomes nice and wet. Now, line variation. As I said, it's a hard nib, so I would be very, very careful to, to push this. Um, that's pretty much it. I also think I'm kind of digging into the paper a bit there. So. Uh, this is not a flex nib in any way, shape, or form. If you want that, buy one of the FPR pens with a with a flex nib or a modified nib. Okay, uh, what about reverse writing? Well, this already is super fine, and you typically reverse write to make the nib even finer. So you can do it, and then you go from. I wouldn't even necessarily call this a fine. I think this is an extra fine, and now you go to extra extra fine, and it becomes a little scratchier. So I don't really think there is a point to doing that. And that is pretty much all as to it. So I hope this is useful and let's see what I like about it and what I do not like about this pen. Okay, what do I like? What do I not like about the Guider Mini? Well, I think we should maybe point out first the incapacity. About one and a quarter milliliters, not bad. Not huge, but that is more than, don't forget, than a, a short international cartridge or a converter would hold. So in that regard, it's, it's actually pretty good, especially for such a small pen, right? Uh, it is tiny, it is portable, it's kind of fun and cute, right? This is an easy thing that you can carry around and, and sort of play with. An ebonite feed, that's always really nice. Nice ink flow properties, I, uh, I yeah, I, 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 I like that. Eyedropper, simple, works well, ebonite, classic, very classic look. Yeah, I think it's kind of fun. I, I can picture this going in a purse or something where you want something that, that looks nice and a little refined but it's not too big. Or whatever type of bag I can see this going in, uh, breast pockets, etc. So there, there are applications for, for smaller pens like this, you know? Things I don't like so much, well the nib could be a little smoother, it could for sure be wetter. It is very dry, a very dry writer, and that makes it even finer than it, it really is, a very rigid writer. The rigidity is not so easy to do anything about yourself. The dryness you could try to, to work with a little bit. One thing I would say uh, is I cannot use this for extended periods of writing, but then again, it is a very, very narrow pen, which is not really my preference in pen, so that is more of a subjective issue than a real objective issue. Now, having said that, that's pretty much it. I think it's a pretty sweet, cute little pen, and I think it, it definitely has some, uh, some, some fun applications. So, I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Kevin, thanks again for sending me the pen. Bye!